good morning or good afternoon fellow ambazonians today na friday number 3 day for this month of november 2023 my name na capo daniel una own countryman sense pass king mr no koni una welcome to our daily podcast a program where they bring una the truth where they bring una meaningful information fact based analysis for help we as we work out for this journey to our freedom to the independence of ambazonia our good people at home and abroad i bring una revolutionary greetings to all idps refugees and those incarcerated in kondengi maximum prison asaloduna all who we'll starts today with the barrier of reverend dr andrew abezia we the land rich with immortal remains for a village for insangi e be been a political prisoner we cameroon government be catchy say he did fight for ambazonia he come off on gi he be die from kondengi maximum prison for charges of terrorism secession and all those crime the way they did accuse any anglophone we cameroon government then catch him he arrive for a village the cops arrive with celebration a lot of population then come off for welcome a dead body as a hero ngi it is celebrate the arrival of a corpse and this one a powerful statement say the people the way the cameroon government they cover they keep them for kondengi prison they never be forgotten by our people and they have been seen as heroes these are no terrorists these are freedom fighters these are the people who truly represent the aspiration of their own people no celebration awaits those who sit as self exiled in duala and yaounde when they come back in amot ka today the celebration of the life of reverend dr father andrew abezia ofambe represents that the people of ambazonia their spirit is alive and they are very much conscious about their fight for their freedom and those who are standing up for them especially those in kondengi maximum prison we should as well renew our love and vigor to fight for the aspiration of our people fellow ambazonian several other ambazonian activists them or people where they talk for social media they don't come up for can they condemn i have chosen a terrorist and i want to put out this warning for our people them there is a danger say when we overstretch in condemning somebody and their action will end up destroying or undermining the very struggle we we'll fight for yes we we'll no say people then they way did one hurry for go ahead of the international community for start label ayabacho for the killing the way be happen for gozang due to the ongoing investigation way they did do am and the report the way did happen for united nation but make the no say if we na the cause some person say be terrorists we na they also undermine the struggle because once you associate terrorism with the struggle whether na for one faction or na one person so long as that person it be seen as representing the struggle it be it get a potential for affect the whole struggle i been at the number one person where you don't condemn the killing for the people them for gozang and i be the first person where you don't condemn my abacho for that particular killing but that is not terrorism that may have traumatized our people but it does not amount to terrorism they are extremist group within our struggle we as ambazonia we cannot call our own as terrorists we cannot it is wrong it is demoralizing to the soldiers and it is not even right internationally we have people who have gone ex to an extreme their actions are misguided and wrong but there are no terrorists we believe that the ambazonian forces on ground zero are trying to do their right thing and sometimes they are being misled by leadership in the diaspora but we should be patriotic in our condemnation so i want to appeal to those who are saying all those things on social media to reflect on the impact it will have to the entire struggle those are extremism extreme extremists are different from terrorists we should know that i go also want to reiterate the big fire we happen for the middle market 
the market where they for a cock between a cock and uh, and Nigeria where they, they buy finger now the place where they, they can do exchange for load this container the way they, they bring the robot container the way they, they bring petrol for inside Bamenda for Manfi and go all across our territory the big fire as it come out last time I'll be bring up the thing I talk them people they need to take them seriously but these are the things that are fundamental to our struggle because it is show the place where the real forces them behind the fighting moderation of the fighting and those that they can they give unnecessary lockdown all those things that they come out now for the petrol business billions and billions and dollars that they come out for that business they enrich Amazonian fighter them and they need to help anybody for the struggle they need to help our political prisoners all that money where they collect them only for that petrol they're not supposed to touch money for any individual civilian in the Amazonia I be that interview one of them will be published. Um, that boy they call in uh, El Shaddai, where he real name na uh, Eric, will be published an interview where he talk how much millions the Rangian for General Efang alone. And they pay that soldier, not only for Efang, all the soldiers them for inside Bamenda. I be bring Efang me can fight this illicit thing where we go on. If it affect even grandpa for Bali and most of our forces the way they day along the road between a cock right to Bamenda, a cock right to Kumba. And in coming there, it be which will be you know easy, especially when leadership then will get all this internal dynamic, it'll be difficult for we to put our soldier them in the right path. But last time the gang, some gang for Nigeria can attack that particular place. I didn't put the video them for outside. They vandalized moto them, broke moto their windscreen, can shoot one person, kill them, and then then go back as the war run go back for Nigeria, Ambazonian fighter then go bring Cameroon military, B, then come for go find that, so that go show them the place where that Nigerian gang then they did attack, then key them for the, and it is shown, I say, this type of collaboration where you see Ambazonian fighter that they do one with Cameroon army, our people they not be aware. If they collaborate for that level, before when they see where they collaborate now for checkpoint they allow ambazonian fighter they mean they operate some checkpoint there for some place then they go and operate their own checkpoint for another place where people they be the one that say but what is really going on and i don't tell you the reason now because say economic interest and a new economy for the war it go on where they enrich specific people then mean they benefit from the war those people then they run the middleman where they go they, they allow Cameroon government, they allow the media to contact Ambazonian soldiers, they make arrangements with them. And they also provide them intelligence. If Cameroon military, do want to attack them, they're the task force. These people, they will tell them, say that they come, that they give them the real information. We then they will show that the way they will work with those people, them. And will they know how they give live information about Cameroon military operation. So those people, then they will, they will work in the dark from both the Cameroon government for Yaoundé and the Ambazonian leadership, them for diaspora. And our population they need for no. Now the people in that way, when the Cameroon intelligence, they don't get hold of them. They give false advice for our soldiers. They make them begin lock road them, put road block where it need to make sense, talk lockdown where it need to make sense, because they want to inflate the price for petrol. Because when they lock that road, then petrol they no come. Price of petrol they go off for Bamenda. But they go open road only for their own people, the way they work for that mafia, make them bring petrol for town can supply and when prices and be high for make more and more money. At the expense for our people, then all the money we so that they collect them for this business, them no one need to go for buy gun, or they gonna go build their mansion them for Nigeria. So these things then be important. We will know them because it affect our struggle directly. So yesterday that group them for Nigeria, they don't come again for them for, for that market. They can set fire for one of their one of the property them. They destroy a lot of property, a lot of motor them, and make our people they understand. So now some of the challenges in this way. It will make them would if he assess the level of our capability and ability for sustain this war with the political agenda. No, we just a war at the expense of our people without giving resort, but a war where it be fought in our name for our freedom without any political agenda for the same. Today, as I be tell now, plenty of people then they will be the complain, say why I be released the interview with the Eric with El Shaddai. I be telling her, saying because I be no place where food don't go touch them for inside the Republic. And just now, just now, news they come say that I award you the contract for carry dirty for Bamenda with the Bamenda Council because they know saying I be in control for Ambazonian fighter them 
and I be in control for the Cameroon army. That means that man way, he gets strong food for both sides. He then give some soldier them, I think that four four million them for each camp for the whole of Mezam. Also that they already settled the soldier they made allow me to the work. So I'm a warning for the soldier then I say me gonna learn say when Camarongo needs some head for some soldier for sure and for their public. Now he go be the one way go can choose the camera to go take him. So as soon as they collect the kind dirty money for underground, me gonna be be careful. Yes, we need to collect liberation tax. But a tax is different from extortion, money for, for cartel. It is very different. And also, I want to talk about the issue for the liberation tax because some people in the town for Bamenda, they don't start begin asking them that money. They, they ask me, say, me, they do not how. I want to make our people they understand this generally. Me, Capo Daniel, will be the founder and the papa for liberation tax. Now, my idea, now me, I'll be bring up. The main idea, I will always insist for our people that me, they know because now the motivation and the reasoning be important. I'll be introduced the liberation tax now when they be catch that director for Kamwata. The reason it be been for two things. For bring some sort of order inside chaos. One, because then go catch person where they believe say they work for company where they help the Republic, where they exploit Ambazonia. What that way it be been our property, communal property where they be provided for free. The Cameroon government it can take them, they sell them for our people them and they be do them all around. So if we get a political angle where we want to emphasize them and we naively guide that decision. So we we'll introduce them at that point where many people will resist the idea itself about liberation tax. I will take that opportunity for introduce them during that point. So the liberation tax primarily now for target this political company them. Company the way they get this politics behind them. The francophone company them. Company the way and contract the way they know the game for anglophone them, not francophone they the exploit them. So now why that way that I will introduce a liberation tax is supposed to target na Cameroon, their company them inside Ambazonia. Or be big Ambazonia, the company, the way they, they make a lot of money where they need to invest back for our local economy. It's supposed to target na them. So I support liberation tax, make all those companies them pay. But I be against and I oppose liberation tax for individual them. See me they making tax all man for village. How they do one for Momo and how they run bring enough for inside Mezan for Bamenda. One was so that they don't get the legitimacy for collect tax. They feel collect that donation. And during the time where we work with the ADF, I will also talk the same. See, the, the amount of money they told me put a for inside Momo na a support money. And it's supposed to be na a voluntary issue where it depends on the uh, financial capacity for everybody. And if we make a semi, all man must contribute for struggle. He also find because it will make a me will not say all man deal with the struggle. So make all man is support. Any family in need for put aside some money for support the boy them. But me will not call and say tax because when I call and say tax, so that them they will interpret them the same how they call government for IG. If when I talk so we will not get government during a liberation, how you could do get a tax? Now support money because we need to provide government services them yet. We never get. We need to provide financial, we need to give, uh, uh, we we'll not get money for produce currency for ground zero and other things the way government need to do. Them. So even the community school, the way you get a no be Ambazonian group that they run them, even though the Ambazonian individual that they run them, some people that they even tax a community school them. So make we not do it that way because it will spoil the struggle. Number one, the soldier, they don't they no get ability for get census or for get access to everybody. They will turn around for instead they ask the people the way they be close to them. And those people they go to see and say Pacha it did it. Some quarter they do it, no man will pay. And so one they will do it, and only people they know so that they will pay. So those people they will be vexed and it will end up compromise those soldiers that security them. It be popular because so that they always one thing where it will collect money for people. So people the way they, they always look their own as support for soldiers them alone, even when it be against our population, they will continue for the hit this point. But now so poly liberation politics it did. But generally, my position is being I say I oppose, say me them begin tax our individual them, and they even threaten people them about them. Those ones are no good, but no be something for begin singing like song. So I hope this one will clarify our population. Make we not support the forces them. It be very important. We not pay we money for forces them, but no be saying a money way we, they go talk saying a so and so amount. No, if man no get money, family no get money, me they no pay. If person he get money. 
try for support, give your own small support for the boy. Then they're not even supposed to ask you. So make that one be clear for our population and for the group the way they mislead them. Me then take note and me then stop that nonsense for inside Bamenda. Person way they do am na isabi. So me go move ahead for inside Boyo. We we'll talk about Panabo say those who eat alone should be ready to fight and die alone. And I think that way it happen for our soldier then. When I collect money for kind kind place, then when I collect money for brasseries, when I collect money for petrol, when I collect all the million them. But when I need the help, even soldier the way they did for detention. So soldier they said the way come around government and hold and they're not tired. They don't get no evidence, they won't release them. They don't even get money for pay bill. So that in the way they seek now, so so we for diaspora will take care for them when I know we take care for on our own. When they collect all that money that they do now today. They come the way they collect that money, they don't get any significant action against the Republic. No. So maybe we think we do not conscience them if we do not do them it correct or not. So we'll go for that presentation for the Security Council will be very important. We will get follow up meeting them, follow up committee them on the later they will go the right time for push for those countries the way they will be interested for Ambazonia, they get an open ear and those countries the way they don't show flexibility through the principle the way they are representative them for security council they don't show them but first i will play some the video except them where they come up for the security council so that make our people them also hear how with the various countries that they talk about that western sahara the type of point them and the type of principle them because now such position and such discussion detail on a way to be international law, which way did he think about which it happened for the globe and how we he help Ambazonia. 13 votes in favor, no votes against, two abstentions. Resolution has been adopted as resolution 2703-2023. To those members of the council who wish to make statements after the vote, and I give the floor to the representative of the United States. The States is pleased to see the council reaffirm its support for personal envoy de Mistura and for Munuso, led by SRSG Ivanko, with the adoption of this resolution. Today, this council sent a clear message that we must intensify efforts to advance an enduring and dignified resolution for Western Sahara without further delay. Although this resolution received widespread support, we regret that this council was not unanimous in renewing this mandate as unity greatly enhances UN efforts to achieve peace. So now the United States, they are envoy, they talk about the resolution for sin and envoy, make it go make the round table negotiation where they go on for Western Sahara such power where they come from the international bodies and be very crucial and if they would want to get the solution any solution would want to bring them these are the benchmark we want to make it come from the security council make them vote on things them where it will actually be effective and it will get the support for the globe make we hear which way the other mozambique representative then talk them during that very the meeting States. depending on the for the effort we wish to express our strong support for the work of the personal envoy of the Secretary General for Western Sahara, Mr. Stephen Mistura. In the same vein, we reiterate our support for the work of the United Nations Mission for a referendum in West Sahara, Minusma, Minus, Minus, Minusu. Mr. President, Mozambique has approached the consultation process leading to the drafting of this resolution in an open and constructive manner, fully conscious and aware of the mandate of MINUSU as adopted by this Council. We reiterate, we therefore express our readiness to engage in negotiating process in good faith with the legitimate purpose of assisting MINURSU to return to its core objectives of implementing a referendum for self auto determinations of the people of Western Sahara as provided by Resolution 690-1991 and subsequent decisions 
by this very chamber. It is our conviction that the resolution just adopted, it is a current form, will not assist the parties in achieving a just, lasting, and mutually accepted political solution as originally intended. To the contrary, it halts a gradual shift away from the mandate. It only postpones uh, addressing core issues that need to be dealt with. We support all efforts aimed at just, lasting, and mutual acceptable political solutions that will provide for the self-determination of people of Western Sahara in accordance with Security Council Resolutions 69, uh, 1754, 2414, 2468, 2294, 2548. So before it won't be big word them because the one not just a podcast, we will take a special edition for explain and make a gonna listen for all the delegation them and which way did they talk them. Mozambique and the Russian Federation, the BB are the only two countries in the way that they oppose, but they support the mandate for the United Nations and for the Western Center for Mozambique, for Western Sahara. We then do the negotiation so that they will come up for a referendum. And this proposal that they want come as a result of Morocco, the state of Morocco's presentation or acceptance or contemplation of a specific solution for the Western Sahara. I will bring on an update and the process and way to go on so that we will know how we from Bazonia any solution where if it be durable, if it be defended, if it be implemented, since we not trust the Republic, how we get there. If Western Sahara their case will be tabled for the Security Council, even when the war the boil with the war in Ukraine and the war in Israel and Gaza, if they will succeed, we too definitely will definitely succeed and will get the necessary international support and the necessary on the ground talk the way it go on within our struggle for make say make it happen make we get a durable acceptable solution for our crisis where it will elevate our people them and end cameroon oppression and preserve our territorial integrity and sovereignty capo daniel looking out for you signing off